Hi, this is Gareth Hines, and I'm here to show you a little inside look at the process of creating my new graphic novel, The Odyssey. Now, this is quite a long book, so I decided I was going to try doing the layouts digitally to save myself some time. And what you see me using here is Adobe InDesign. And as you can see, I've already laid out the left-hand page of this spread, and I'm going to draw the right-hand page now. And the tool that I'm using here is just the pencil tool which is a, uh, it's actually a vector drawing tool. It doesn't really behave much like a pencil. What it creates are mathematical lines. And they're not very naturalistic, but um, they work fine for a rough sketch. And as you can see, I'm keeping things pretty rough here. And the thing that's really useful is that uh, each of these lines is its own object. And you can see me actually manipulating the points on this line, and I can move whole lines, and I can also group lines into larger, more complex objects, which I can then manipulate. Um, this is towards the end of the book when Odysseus has taken his revenge on the suitors and he's basically killed them all and uh, Medon is begging to be spared. So there you can see um, I jumped ahead a little bit to where that drawing was finished and I grouped those figures so they're now a single object. I'll ungroup them later if I need to. And uh, now the next line is said by Odysseus, so I'm going to draw Odysseus in here and I'm not sure yet whether this is going to be a single panel or if he's going to uh, have his own panel. So again, once I've drawn him, I'm going to grab all those lines, I'm going to group them so that he's one object, and then I'm just going to take a second to evaluate what I've done here, and I'm not sure if I like the layout of these guys. So maybe I'm going to drag them off to the side, and I'm going to try drawing them from a different angle, uh, maybe a little more dramatic, like a low angle. So I'll have Telemachus kind of looming over Medon more. And of course the great thing about working digitally is if you don't like something that you drew, you can just undo, 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 and redraw it. And I'm going to just give him a little counter body twist here, make the body language a little more dramatic. And jump ahead to where that drawing is done. And then I, I kind of like that, so what I'm going to do is actually draw in some uh, rough speech balloons. And as you can see, I have a bunch of different layers here, and the balloons are on their own layer. It's that dark blue layer. So I'm just going to rough those in for now and move that point around a little bit. And then I'm going to draw in some rough panel borders using the line tool. And I'm going to put those on their own layer, the magenta layer there. And jumping ahead again, I decided I didn't really, I wasn't confident about either of those drawings, so I'm going to actually just try yet another angle. Um, so I just drag those off to the side where I can still see them. And I'm going to try the high angle now. Uh, if the low angle doesn't work, try the high angle and vice versa. And I'll jump ahead again a little bit because I want to show you. So you can see that his proportions are a little wrong. His head's kind of scrunched. So the nice thing is I can grab just the lines that make up his head, group those, and I can move that around to fix an issue like that on the fly. And then I'll just grab the lines that make up his whole figure but not meet on. So now I have Telemachus grouped by himself, and then I'll also group meet on by himself so that if I need to move them around in relative to each other, I can do that. And then I decided that I did want this profile of Odysseus, but I'm going to draw in uh, his shoulders and his shield. And then maybe I'll draw in uh, Telemachus and Medon behind him for a bit of a reaction shot.
And the way this is laid out right now, Telemachus is actually going to get cropped a little by this beach balloon, and I might decide that that's fine, or I might end up uh, moving everybody down a little bit, uh, or just making the panel bigger so that he'll have room. So I'm actually going to speed up the video here as I start drawing this very large complex panel at the bottom. And this is basically Odysseus searching the hall for any suitors who might remain alive. And you'll see Odysseus, Telemachus, and Medon again, and you'll also see the loyal swineherd, Eumaeus, and a whole lot of dead suitors. So I hope you've enjoyed this video, and I'm going to just let the drawing take it out here. Um, this is Gareth Hines, thanks for watching. Please look out for The Odyssey coming in 2010 from Candlewick Press, and check out my website, garethhines.com. Thanks a lot.